Imagine camping in this setting. Pretty nice, eh? But what if I were to change the weather? Hmm, that seems a little less appealing. And how about now? When it comes to the setting, the type of weather changes everything. In today's tutorial, you will learn the importance of explaining what the weather is like in your setting descriptions. Think about all the different types of weather. There are so many different types of weather to describe, yet surprisingly, many young writers overlook it in their story settings. This is a missed opportunity, because as you'll see, weather is a powerful tool that can enrich your writing. To start with, it can help shape the mood of your setting. Good weather often suggests a cheerful and carefree atmosphere, while bad weather can create tension and unease. Kim headed towards her new school. The sun shone brightly overhead, its warmth brushing her skin, while the birds sang with a confident, carefree melody that filled the crisp morning air. The day felt full of promise, and her nervousness melted away. Kim headed towards her new school. The sky loomed dark and heavy above her. Ominous clouds churned, and the wind whipped through the trees, carrying the distant rumble of thunder. Fat raindrops began to splatter around her. In both examples, Kim is heading to the same school. Yet the settings feel completely different. The type of weather totally transforms the mood of the scene. Let's explore another example. There in front of me was the Voyager. The morning air was warm and inviting, with a soft breeze that gently stirred the calm waters. The sun lingered low on the horizon, casting long, golden rays that bathed everything in a soft, radiant glow. There in front of me was the Voyager. Its masts were barely visible through the swirling snow, Every surface of the deck was covered with ice. Thick, dagger-like icicles clung to the ship's railings and ropes. A chilling wind howled across the frozen dock, cutting straight through my coat. Once again, I'm boarding the same ship, but the weather completely changes how the setting feels. The weather can also be used to help show how a character is feeling. A bright, sunny sky might show that the character feels hopeful or happy. In contrast, dark, stormy weather can suggest sadness, almost as if the weather is mirroring the character's tears. The sun burst through the clouds, as though it wanted to share in the victory. The wind, which had quieted to a gentle breeze when he stepped up for the winning penalty, now seemed to shift direction, urging him towards his celebrating teammates. The sky was a dull grey, and a cold drizzle fell, drenching the streets. He stared at the empty space where his bicycle used to be. The wind grew colder and sharper biting his cheeks where the tears were flowing. Even the distant rumble of thunder felt like it was laughing at him. 
In the first paragraph, I'd chosen warm and sunny weather to match the mood of the main character, who has just scored the winning penalty. In the second paragraph, I've chosen dark and gloomy weather to match the mood of the boy, who is upset because his bicycle has been stolen. Finally, the weather can help influence what happens in your story. A sudden snowstorm could make it hard for a mountain climber to reach the top. Someone might get lost in the scorching heat of a desert. A fishing trip could be cut short by a powerful thunderstorm. Torrential rain might flood a zoo, causing chaos. So use the weather to push your story in an exciting new direction. Finally, some advice when describing the weather. Don't make your weather descriptions too general. Simply writing, it was raining, doesn't show whether it's a problem for the characters. Rain can sometimes be helpful. Similarly, saying the sun was hot doesn't mean everything's great. There are plenty of situations where intense heat can be harmful. At the same time, don't go overboard. If your description starts to feel like a weather report, you've probably included too much detail. Balance is key. Keep it just enough to enhance the mood without overwhelming your readers. Look at these examples. Lightning flashed across the sky. A storm was coming. A bad one. White, fluffy clouds floated across the sky with not a care in the world. My flashlight did little to pierce the fog, and I found myself staring at a white wall of nothingness. Snow pelted his face, and he pulled up the collar of his overcoat to shield himself from the bitter, icy weather. Dark clouds loomed overhead, promising trouble. Raindrops hammered the roof with a thousand tiny fists. A gust of icy wind smacked the grin off his face. Gentle snowflakes drifted down, blanketing the world in silence. Fierce winds howled through the trees, bending them to their will. Mist rolled in swallowing the forest and hiding the creatures within. For other great setting description writing tips, make sure you watch this video. And to continue to take your writing to the next level, make sure you subscribe to my channel.